This time I would like to say a few words about the condition of the right-wing and the left-wing uh, parties in, uh, in the Western world, uh, first and foremost, uh, today, but also worldwide. So what we see is uh, very often interpreted, uh, interpreted so that uh, we need new names for, uh, for the new um, ideological uh, differences. For instance, we have this name, the right-wingers, the left-wingers, they, uh, they both come from the era of the French Revolution when the people who represented the old privileges of the crown and of the aristocracy uh, uh, were seated uh, um, to the right from the king and uh, the, the people who represented more or less radical equality uh, were um, seated uh, on the left from the king. And we also accept and we also assume usually that we also have something like a, a liberal center the liberal center is uh, everything that stands for liberty and individualism. And um, so we have all this free all the time. The, the right-wingers stand for a tradition and order sometimes, order tradition, uh, social order tradition. And we have uh, uh, the, the left-wingers who stand for equality and if also uh, not only before the law, but also uh, economical, uh, social, economic, uh, social uh, equality. And we have the um, individual, individualistic liberal center. And I think those, uh, those values will be always uh, current, always needed, always represented and we need no new names. We, not, we, uh, we need no new names for the new uh, divisions, political divisions in our world. But something has changed. What has changed is from the 1960s, 70s and 80s, it changed, uh, something really changed. What changed is the, uh, uh, is what the, 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 the elite has been um, has become uh, increasingly um, um, uh, orientated towards the left because uh, left lenient or something like this because uh, there are immer there, there are still more and more there are bigger and bigger uh, uh, number of people who um, are totally independent in their work. Uh, from the conditions outside, so they can, uh, knowing some English and some, for instance, when they are a computer programmer or something like this, they can uh, literally uh, work uh, anywhere in the world. So they are independent in this, in this, um, this is a very specific type of independence in their work. So, uh, and those people tend to vote left, for, for the left. And uh, so um, the left-wingers have a very significant um, support, political support, not only from people who work for the administration, which plays a key role in the, in the countries which they, in which there are many soldiers and clerks and uh, uh, officials and uh, people who work for government, really, uh, teachers. And... Um, Mm, uh, so th these people tend to, uh, to, to vote for the left because they need their pensions, their wages and so on and this is all provided by the government. And also we have uh, people who are totally dependent on government, they are not coping very well in their uh, 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 everyday situ situations economically and socially, so they are dependent on the food stamps for instance in the States. So they also tend, uh, but they those two uh, groups, uh, the the group who the groups who are um, uh, dependent on their uh, uh, in their uh, everyday life on the state because they don't work at all or they work in for the administration, they always tend to be left leaning. But um, this new group of uh, highly trained professionals who are um, usually perceiving themselves as uh, the citizens of the world, they are not really comfortable with uh, 
with um, uh, borders uh, between nations, states and so on. So they are <coughs> really... Um, this group was uh, before uh, was very small 